higher within. Today's keynote speech is presented by a person who is very motivated and who, who strongly believes in his dreams. And not just he believes, but he actually is fulfilling it. Besides, he is a passionate cook, a loving father, and the strongest foundation of Speak India. None other than Roshan Sohail. <laughs> It's like a game of football. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you are hit. Sometimes you push, and sometimes you are pushed. Sometimes you win, and sometimes you learn. But despite all the problems, challenges, and risks, life is exciting. At least mine is definitely exciting. If yours is not, chances are that you are not playing the game. You are still watching it from the stands. So today, I want all of you to come and play the game for life. Are you ready? Yes. Louder. Yes. Do I have my? Oh yes, oh yes. Let me see how ready you are. Okay. So here is a unique device that I am carrying in my hands. It's called a noise meter, right? So it can measure the intensity of the noise that you make of the applause that you generate. Right. So we can you just help me with this? You just hold it here, <coughs> okay? And just keep telling them, right? Okay. So let's make some noise today, right? Are you all excited? Yes! 102. Oh, wow. not impressive, not impressive. Are you happy today? Yes! yes! That's great. 103. <laughs> <laughs> impressive, impressive. Okay, so once more, once more, once more. Do you want to play? Yes! 104. That's right, fantastic. Go again to yourself. For breaking your own record, huh? So that's great. So let the game begin. I'm going to throw the ball at you. So whosoever gets the ball, catch the ball and throw it back to me as quickly as possible. And when you get the ball, you say, I want to play. I want to play. I want to play. play. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready, Mona? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Alright, good. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on. You are not. Oh, come on. Are you ready? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Arun, are you ready? Okay, come on. Are you ready? Okay, come on. Are you ready? Okay, come on. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come on, man. Are you ready? Good, 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 good. Thank Life. It's full of opportunities. Sometimes you catch the ball, sometimes you miss the ball. So when you catch it, you feel happy. And when you miss it, you feel more determined to catch it the next time. Life is all full of opportunities. And people who notice these opportunities, some of them are really, really doing better than us. You know why? Because they have this something inside them that makes them alert, that makes them more dynamic, and that makes them more available to those opportunities. Today, I'm going to talk about this set of people, which I call them heroes. Today, I want all of you to act and play with me like, like a, like a hero. So tell yourself, I am a hero. I am a hero. That's great, that's great. In 1923, there was this boy in Japan Soichiro. And Soichiro used to work as a mechanic in an automobile workshop. And when a major earthquake hit the city, Kanto earthquake, and it damaged <coughs> almost the entire city, including his workshop, it was almost a dead end for him. But heroes 
see opportunities in every problem. So this boy started buying the damaged vehicles, fixed them up, and started selling them. Some years, a few years later, he started his own automobile showroom. But then in 1929, the world was hit by a massive meltdown, and then he had to close down his business. But again, he did not stop. He started a factory for making piston rings. But then again, he was facing some quality issues <coughs> because he was not good at producing the finest quality of piston rings that could be sold to the great automobile manufacturing companies. He was so frustrated when only 50 of his 30,000 chosen rings were selected. Imagine. And this was the time when he was going through financial hardships and he had to pawn the jewelry of his wife. But then again, heroes see possibility in every problem. I saw a new face of Russia. He was not only energetic, inspiring, but very, very motivating. I really love this. Beethoven? Anybody heard the name of Beethoven? What is Beethoven known for? Music. Music, right? There is this one particular thing that he produced it's called the Ninth Symphony. And Beethoven produced the Ninth Symphony when he was almost entirely deaf. Have you ever heard about Hallelujah Chorus? Yes. Frederick Handel wrote the Hallelujah Chorus when he was almost entirely paralyzed. Have you ever heard about Pulela Gopichand? Yes. Who is Pulela Gopichand, by the way? He's our badminton coach. <coughs> and Pulela Gopichand, when met with a severe accident, he was hospitalized. He practiced badminton on the hospital wall while lying in his hospital bed. And eventually went on to win the All England Badminton Championship. Heroes see opportunity in every problem. And that's why they are called heroes. Today I want you to decide that you are going to be a hero for yourself and for people you love, for your family, for your society, and ultimately for this country. Have you ever seen an arrow? Have you seen an arrow? Hmm? Have you seen an arrow? Yeah. Here's this one. So what happens when the arrow is shot, you know? It's, it goes straight fast, whoosh, hmm? right? And it's very dynamic, it's very focused, it's very full of energy. Doesn't it, right? This is how passionate people look like. So if you see somebody thinking sharply, talking sharply, walking sharply, chances are that this guy is an arrow. Because he's so focused, he doesn't have time for irrelevant stuff. He doesn't have time for wasting on other things. And we have this arrow in each one of us. Each one of you happens to have this arrow. But some of you have it in a different shape. We call it the twisted arrow syndrome. That means we all have this capability, we all have this potential, but unfortunately, this is not organized. That could help us. Now imagine if I give this arrow to you to use it. Can you? Can you? Will it hit the target? I'm afraid not. Because this is not organized, this cannot. But it is there, it is there, the capability is there, the potential is there, all the qualities and strengths are there. This speech was very really amazing, as soon as he came, like, uh, I did this speech like when we were rushing to him and uh, it was spreading in the entire room and it was very, very inspirational and I really got inspired. And I left my pharma job and was uh, fascinated with the professional speaking business. I couldn't find any assignment you know, in the beginning. And believe me, I had to sell biryani on that place, on road. And I have some, some really interesting memories of being howled at by policemen and dealing with the uh, hawkers, my you know, roadside neighbors and all. But while I was doing that, I knew deep in my heart, I knew <coughs> that I am destined for a greater purpose. I am destined for a greater life. And this is what 
passionate people believe in. When they go through pain, when they go through misery, when they endure that pain, they always keep telling themselves, this is just a stopover. This is just a temporary phase. I am going to be there very soon. I am going to be there very soon. And this is what gives them extra power. So if you are following your passion, keep enduring that. It feels very exciting. I feel the energy flowing in me right, even till right now. It's been an hour after this meeting, it's still exciting. Thank you. Have you ever seen this potter's wheel? Huh? Mm -hmm. Potter's wheel. Have you seen that potter's wheel? Have you? Have, has, has anybody tried? Has anybody experimented or tried potter's wheel? Huh? So when you see a potter, how, how does it begin? Like he takes a lump of clay and beats it, smash it, and puts it on the wheel and spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, spin it, and then puts pressure and just and you see the potter's taking shape. Hmm? The pot, the vessel taking shape. <coughs> that happen? Happens? Hmm? I happen to have one. And this is how it starts taking shape. Now imagine if this lump of clay refuses to cooperate with the hands of the potter, if it just refuses to be shaped, if it complains, if it cries, what happens? Will it be ever be able to be molded in the beautiful shape? Will it ever become a vessel? And then it allows to become a vessel, but then the potter has to keep it put it in the, in the furnace to make it hard and strong. Now imagine if the pot fears the heat, if the pot fears the flames, will it ever become strong? If it refuses to go into the oven, will it ever become a lasting pot that could be used for something? No. My friends, this is the time that you allow yourself to be molded, to be heated, to be tempered, and take the shape of a pot that ah, could be used to plates, a plant, a plant that ultimately blossoms in the hands of God. And please keep reminding yourself what I reminded myself every time when I was going through these three lines. Keep reminding me and keep kept motivating me. I would like to close with these lines. If today is a cloudy day with thunder, storm and rain, if today is a cloudy day with thunder, storm and rain, don't feel frustrated, don't complain. Don't feel frustrated, don't complain. Because the sun will rise again. Because the sun will rise again. A new face of Russian. He was not only energetic, inspiring, but very, very motivating. I really loved his speech. I was amazed how Russian entered the room and the, how much energy he was carrying. And I was astonished to see. I was really happy to see the passion, the energy, the enthusiasm, full of learning. I really liked it. Thank you so much, Russian. Amazing! What a passion, what a fire in the belly. Roshan, we just loved your speech. I think it has really motivated me much and I'm going to follow my passion more strongly. Thank you.